All right, Ben, go ahead. Well, f yeah, the, uh, Maria seems more optimistic about this website being fixed by the end of the month than even Democrats and the President of the United States of America himself. They're even pulling back now, not claiming this thing is going to be fixed. But the bigger problem than that right now is, and you heard it earlier, one million people in California alone got cancellation letters because of the Affordable Care Act. And the Democrats are really upset right now. Are those going back to their district and their phone lines are blowing up by people that said, the president told me and you told me that if you if I was in favor of this, I could keep my health care plan if I liked it. We now know that's a lie. We now know they're upset about it. That's why the president's numbers are taking right now this morning. And that's what they want fixed even more on the website. If you got a cancellation letter, you are not happy with the president of the United States of America because you feel like he misled or lied to you. You know, Maria, a lot of the Republicans, they're now going through all the videotape and everything is on videotape nowadays, not only mm -hmm. recalling what the president said, if you like your plan, you can keep your plan. If you like your right. doctor, you can keep your doctor. But they're looking at a lot of vulnerable Democrats who made similar comments over the course of the last year or two or three or whatever. And they're going to be blowing those up, as you know, in commercials and political yeah. advertisements to those who might be vulnerable in 2014. Uh, there's no question about that, Wolf, and that's why congressional Democrats are, are nervous, and they should be. I certainly uh, would be if I were in their position, and, and they're furious, and, and that outrage, I think, is the one that the president is, is taking heed on, as well as the outrage of the people who are receiving those letters. I think the faux outrage here, Ben, and please you know, spare me the, the Republican outrage that is going on on the Hill today, because <laughs> instead, of helping, instead of helping this president fix this, they have done everything that they can to defund, delay, derail, and destroy Obamacare from the moment it became law. <laughs> so where was their outrage the, in those, the last 30 years the, when insurance the, those, companies were dropping people left and right? Where was the outrage when, the, look, when look, people look. were actually going bankrupt those because they couldn't get points. the health care that they need? So let's try those to fix this. Points this is what the right president now, has promised. Let me say this. Let's let me say this. Fix it. Those let's make talking sure the constituents get, right, those, on. get those okay. plans. Go ahead, Ben. The talking points that you just said mean nothing to people that got a cancellation letter. And the fact is, Obamacare and the president walked out and lied to the American people saying you keep a plan, and we now know that is an absolute fallacy. We also know for a fact that in 2010, the White House knew what they were selling was not truthful to the American people. They were warned by healthcare executives, if you pass this, these plans are no longer gonna be available. And so you can blame Republicans, but we didn't pass Obamacare. We didn't write it. We didn't we yeah, didn't look obviously. at it or as Nancy Pelosi <laughs> said, as Nancy Pelosi said, we won't know what's in it until we pass it. That was the most truthful statement any Democrat this, ever made about Obamacare. And this president has apologized. He the HHS uh, That doesn't uh, matter if you lost your insurance. CMS has apologized, and so he is doing what he can legislatively or through administration fixes to make sure that those constituents are, are able to either keep their plans or receive better plans. What are the Republicans doing? Wolf, Again, the Republicans are Wolf, doing nothing other than trying to not get true. rid of this law. Factually and this not president true. is, Re frankly, with the American people who want it to work. So, so work with the, this president and help us end, make it I'll work. I'll go back to this. The last offer the Republicans made when the government was shut down was to delay Obamacare for one year, saying it is not ready for prime time. We did offer that up, and now Democrats That's are looking at the fix. same realistic issue. Right. That, well, that is not The a fact fix. is it needs time to be fixed. It needs time and, to be fixed. You're even saying so, that. One year so is about having... enough time, I would hope, to fix this. <laughs> And so hey instead guys, of having we, the uh, chief technology officer uh, right now testifying, why don't you let him go back to his office and fix it? All right. We got that, well, uh, Maria, <laughs> uh, Ben. Uh, we got